Silverleaf Tarot. Today we are asking what is being revealed at this time? And we have three piles for you to choose from today. Pile number one. Elder. And that is with cat. Pile number two. Calendula. And that is with key. And pile number three, St. John's Wort, and that is with Spider. So take as much time as you need to, pause the video if you want, to choose your pile or your piles, and then you head down to the description box where you will find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Hello, pile number one, and welcome to your reading. Where we are asking, what is being revealed at this time? Now, two uh, crystals wanted to come through for you. I'm wondering if that is Rhodonite. Let's have a look. Yes. Compassion, yin yang, fertility. Rhodonite is a stone of brotherly love, the shared connection between all of humanity. Wow, equilibrium is key for this crystal, which has the capacity to calibrate emotions, balance yin and yang, and source energy from a grounded place. Mmm. Brotherly love, compassion, yin-yang. It's such a beautiful, beautiful stone. Rhodonite um, is found here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, near where I live. Um, it comes in this very deep pink colours, but it has these veins of um, really, really dark stone. And I sort of saw in the... In the message, there's, it can bring light to emotional scars from the past. And this is those uh, deep veins of woundedness, of hurt. Um, the word blame came up a bit later in the uh, crystal meaning here. So this, I'm getting self-blame here. I'm feeling hurt, feeling scarred. We have the cat. Such a beautiful psychic animal, being called to the animal cards. Psychic animal, and you have wisdom, elder, um, 28. We have all of these angels and fairies here, and a wand. Wow, the cosmic egg. What a powerful, powerful time of going within. Going within yourself at this time. There's something, wow, I'm getting there's a gift. Oh, there's a gift within you. It's a spiritual gift. It may well be a psychic gift within you. Pile number one uh, that is being revealed at this time. It could be an um, I'm getting the word accentuation of a gift that you already have, but it's going to go next level. And there's something about it coming from the depths of within you with that rhodonite. It's that it's deeply loving, deeply compassionate, deeply grounded, but it's also deeply wounded in terms of those intergenerational traumas, those past life woundings, those childhood woundings. It's it's coming from, ah, of course, it's that Chiron, that's what's coming through here. It's the Chiron Wounded Healer energy. 
that where we've been hurt and where we have healed, that is how um, we bring healing to others. Because we've gained, oh, this is so beautiful, we've gained wisdom from the journey of healing, our own wounds, our own scars, and this is what we then bring to others. And this is, wow, you're being, what is being revealed to you at this time <clears throat> is your own healing power. And I'm actually getting uh, healing with words. Perhaps you're a, a singer, a poet, a writer, a musician, a podcaster, um, a um, vlogger. I don't know. But there's something, wow, there's something coming through very strongly about the power of your words to heal. To heal others because that is um, the wounded healer journey. The cosmic egg, you have something extremely special to share. Hold, hold on there. Excuse me, my throat chakra was being um, kind of aggravated or initiated. Um, initiations and activations can can feel like aggravations because um, something's waking up um, that wasn't there before. Something's coming through from the depths of your soul. Um, this accentuation of a current uh, spiritual gift or a brand new and but I'm getting iteration especially we're getting this with this swirling snake it's not like this gift is brand new to you but it's a it's a whole new level it's a whole new layer and it's coming from deep within your soul with the cosmic egg Chiron the wounded healer the power of your words, the power of the spoken word, I'm getting particularly for you. Let's have a look at these. On your soul's journey, you need to lose yourself so you can find yourself again. Follow your dreams. Wow. I'm totally getting Chiron wounded healer from this energy because I'm getting the Nine of Wands energy from um, the tarot deck. That energy of having been through it, you've been through it, and you've been healing, addressing, compassionately tending to, you've been um, unveiling, um, you know, the wounds of the past, and I'm getting Nine of Wands energy that maybe you're a little bit over the healing, we all get that way, all of us on a healing journey, there's sort of like this moment of or moments of, um, oh, have I, have I healed completely yet? Oh no, there's still more. There's always more, because our um, souls, <laughs> the fabric of our being, has has been around for all of eternity. So the deeper you go, the more there is, um, and this is the way of the wounded healer. So I'm definitely getting this energy here but I feel like there's going to be some bright spark moment let's have a little look see honor your commitments be loyal to your soul's longings this is where you will find joy we're going to keep this one with the words upright because I think that this is the the energy here that maybe you've been doing the hard work of healing you know you've been going in there you've been addressing old wounds you've been with the sword here you've been changing your mind, changing your mental patterning, changing what you say to yourself, what you say to the universe. You know, you've been doing the work. Pile number one, this is definitely a message of honor, honoring the depth of the work that you've been doing to get rhodonite and the cosmic egg and wisdom and elder. Even just that word, the elders, the you know, the old souls or the old beings that understand, that know, that see, that, that see beyond the veil. You're like deep in the root system of Mother Earth in terms of our collective healing. And there's the message here to bring joy back into what you do. To bring joy back. Follow this uh, new soul path, soul 
uh, heal, path of healing that is being revealed to you at this time. Something definitely to do with words, the power of your words, and particularly your spoken words. But there's something about bringing joy into this situation. It's not all hard work. Healing isn't all hard work. Much healing can be done from bringing in that loving, brotherly love, collective love, joyfulness. We'll see what else comes through. This, this card wanted to come through. Embarking on a brand new journey, Three of Wands. These two underneath want to come through. Six of Cups, a gift from the past. This is this psychic gift. This is this new level, this new layer of this spiritual gift that you have. It's soul deep in terms of this gift from the past with the Six of Cups. But also there's that childlike energy with the Six of Cups, that joyful, childlike brotherly love, compassionate, joyful, loving energy coming through. Mm, it's not all hard work. It's not all about hard work. Pile number one, you may be an activist. You may be working in the judicial system to advocate for um, disadvantaged people. Um, you know, you could be really Work, literally working extremely hard for, for justice, for healing of the earth, of people, of animals, of plants. And there's this calling, there's this new layer that's unraveling for you at this time that is actually coming from a place of love, a place of joy, a place of tenderness, this childlike love and joy and trust and honesty and togethering. Um, yeah, the togetherness energy there's with our collective, with, with humanity as a whole, particularly getting here. This bringing joy back into the back into the situation. Let's turn over our um, wounded warrior, our um, person that's tired, tired of fighting the good fight. We're going to turn that over because the message is about unveiling this beautiful rainbow energy, this beautiful pink chakra, higher heart chakra energy, the six of cups, childlike, trusting, loving energy. We're bringing in the new journey where there is joy and there is love and there is faith. That was that energy that I was trying to articulate. Oh, temperance, bringing everything back into balance. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the message that you've been fighting the good fight for others, for um, any others, uh, whether that's the animal world, the plant world, human world, uh, Gaia herself. You've been fighting the good fight and there's actually this um, revelation of this beautiful, trusting, faithful energy that's far more gentle. <clears throat> the power of your words, we're coming back to the power of your words. Yeah, it's that um, the pen is mightier than the sword. There's actually um, potentially a revelation about how you go about sharing your gifts with the world and there's going to be a realization of that you can share look at this beautiful alchemy with the temperance you can share your healing gifts with the world in in a far more gentler way and this is gentler to you so that you won't feel so bedraggled you won't feel so um, exhausted with this card here from fighting the good fight, there's there's going to be this energy shift with temperance, alchemization, that balancing of the yin and yang, <clears throat> where it's not all, yes, it's not all about the actions that you take in terms of your healing work in this world, it's also about that balance, balance, gentleness, loving, and um, Focusing on the thoughts that you think and the words that you speak. Something about the power of your 
spoken word, pile number one. So here we go. If you've been focusing on what's wrong with the world, and um, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of terrible things that happen in this world. So if your focus has been on that, it's been wearing you down. It's been corroding your sense of well-being. It's corroded your joy in being alive and in the work that you're doing. And it's completely understandable. If you're working in um, any area that is about injustice, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of pain and a lot of wounding in there. And perhaps it's got the better of you in terms of your sense of faith that energy that came through before. So there's going to be this unveiling, this revelation of that, that's n that the problems are not the focus. The scar tissue isn't the focus. It's actually this <clears throat> love, compassion, joy, a balanced energy, that that's actually... Um, your focus and this card's message was about getting lost along the way and then finding joy again, finding joy in the healing work that you do um, on this planet and beyond, pole number one, wherever you're doing this work. There's going to be a, a um, transition from being in the wounded warrior energy of being in the darkness of what you're healing into moving into this um, era, this new layer where you're bringing joy, you're bringing love and you're bringing hope and you're bringing faith. Powerful, powerful. Three of cups in the moon. Again, this is um, talking again about getting lost in the fears and there's a lot of fear energy around at this time in terms of just so many things <laughs> you know we've been through the solar eclipse energy the all the the frightening prophecies we've all been through the COVID era where we see how our lives collectively can be completely turned upside down in an instant there's um, a lot of um, you know there's a lot of talk going on in the spiritual communities about um, potentially you know people that are focusing on the um, potential um, hardships that may come with this uh, change of era, this growth of all of us and Mother Earth into our next era collectively, but you're actually being called to bring joy, love and companionship, that brotherly love, that compassion for all, to move your guidance and your uh, revelation at this time. Pile number one is that you will choose to move away from the fear-based thinking of that everything's going to, you know, whatever whatever that is, you know, that everything's going to crumble, that the economy, is, you know, there's going to be a global financial crisis, that there's going to be all this fear, 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 there's all the murky, corrupt, secretive things that are going on in the world, you know, this is the moon card here, this is this wounded warrior energy, the in the dark, f fearing what's in the shadows, fearing what you can't see, the scary thing lurking in the water. And yet you're um, going to realize that love is where it's at. Love, joy, community. Love, joy, community is your way forward and you're going to realize how powerful your words are so if you are um, finding yourself in conversations or what you're watching or what you're reading about or learning about and it's all based in that fear energy you're going to realize that you want to shift out of that because it's negatively affecting you. It's negatively affecting your joy um, on your journey. 
on your healing journey. This is big time healing, like just whatever you are doing, you're bringing healing energy. So you're going to flip the script, literally, away from fear, um, away from, you know, the hidden corruptions and all the things um, that that people are afraid of that's going on in the dark that you can't see. And you're actually going to turn your focus, you're going to turn away from that energy here, and you're going to shift your focus to joy, to love, to family, to community, to happiness. Balancing out with temperance, bringing joy, humor, humility, love, um, connection, um, bringing your energy and your focus and the words that you speak and hear, uh, you're going to turn towards joy, joy, love and community and belonging. Let's see what this card is, bonding, <laughs> oh I don't know how to say this word, Char charoit, 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 I'm not sure. Bonding, acceptance, service, Chiron. Here we go, Chiron was coming through, the wounded healer. Chiron feels it all. And so it's easy, uh, it's very easy as with your particular spiritual gifts. Pile number one, to, to get sort of dragged into all the fear. Because you are on that high, high level of Chiron healing, you can feel, you can sense the scar, the wounded scars in others, in your community, in the world. You know, you're hyper aware of it. And this is where this um, revelation is going to come in because it's going to shift your focus into the love into the love, into the um, collective joy, collective belonging, collective community, collective harmony. It's a shift of focus away from the fear and away from the wounds towards joy, love, peace and harmony. Let's read this one as your final message for this reading. <clears throat> there are presents in the present. Charoit shows you the gifts of living in the moment, enhancing gratitude and appreciation for the day to day. This is true acceptance, letting go of expectations for what your life should be and embracing what is right now. By just being, Charoit brings deep healing to your physical and emotional selves, down to your very selves. By reconfiguring your old programming into a new way of processing your daily life, after all, it is about perspective. Here we go. Charoit helps you face your fears, see reality over projections, and live your truth finalizing with be the change you want to see, be the peace, the joy, the love, the harmony that you want to bring into existence on this planet. Pile number one, this is your message for what is being revealed to you at this time. Thank you very much for being here with me for this reading. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading where we are asking, yes, we are asking, the cards just want to keep coming out for you. What is being revealed at this time? And check it out, it's a brand new beginning. We have key with calendula purity number one so first of all that's the first card in the deck and we have our child uh, reminiscent of the sun card of the tarot so that is like 
high level joy, happiness, contentment, safety, belonging, like it is, it's big time joy. So we've got a sun card energy, we've got the sun here, and then this child is going on a new pathway through a brand new door. So we have key and door, I mean the, <laughs> the symbology couldn't be more clear that a brand new opportunity, a brand new beginning is opening up for you. We see the light is coming through the door. The door is already cracked open. You're already on this journey, like you're edging towards it. You're moving towards this beautiful new beginning. And when we've got the sun card, I'm feeling called to try to find it. And the Rider Waite Smith, because then you'll um, see what I mean. We've got the moon. Oh, it's going to take too long. Oh, no, of course it's not. It's right there waiting for us. The sun is um, exuberant, joyful, loving, oh, just so much fun. There's so much fun on this new journey. And it's... Um, beautifully aligned with the love rose card coming in it's like divinely orchestrated i'm getting this um kind of cupid's arrow coming in i mean it could be love it could be a brand new partner it could be an a new level and within your relationship I'm kind of getting family energy as well in terms of there could be this brand new beginning to do with your family maybe you're moving to a new home maybe you're moving towards the sun you're moving to a warmer climate or something that just I'm getting that um, old school saying warms the cockles of your heart. You know, there's some new, there's a new beginning that just makes you feel loved. It makes you feel like you're on the right path. It makes you feel happy in a really warm way. So it is quite a warm, grounded way. Like it's not a um, flash in the pan. Uh, energy at all. This is warm. It is grounded. It is home. This is like at the level of moving to a new home that you love, that everyone in your family or in, in your um, group that is living there is um, happy and grounded and safe. I'm just getting this energy of safety with the sun card because it's a walled garden. It's protected. It's a happiness that is protected and guarded, and I'm getting this angelically as well. There's been some sort of um, divinely orchestrated happening that um, is giving rise to this opportunity, this happening, this event that uh, changes your life for the better. We've got this beautiful sun energy, this yellow energy. Cat's claw purification for me is this um, trusting your instincts, following the guided path. You know, we have all these stars in the cat's um, uh, on the dark fur. This is about following your internal guidance here your inner instincts, your intuition. Yeah, it's just going to feel magical. I'm definitely going to put that out there. It's going to feel magical because you're just feeling called forwards and then the door opens and then the meeting takes place. The, the two things come together, you and this new opportunity for great joy and great happiness. I wonder what these cards are. Oh, Talk about that childhood joy, Six of Cups. I mean, it's a pure joy and it's a pure gift as well. The Six of Cups is the giving of a gift that is very innocent, that is very loving and very kind. After loss, Five of Cups. This may be about leaving something behind in order to move towards the new but trusting and knowing that this is the right new way forward for you and for your family. So anyone that's in your care, whether that's um, pets, children, uh, a partner, 
even you know it could even be um your business if you employ people and you're taking you're seeing the light and you're taking um the business in a new direction it's um this love and care it's going to be good for everyone this energy is going to be good for everyone this card wants to come through <laughs> four of wands 11 11 portal this is just high vibrational. This has been divinely orchestrated for this offer, this opportunity to be given to you. And check out this single five-pointed white star flower. This is just a gift from the gods. This is beautiful. It's pure. Um, I'm getting unadulterated. It's just, it's not complicated. The offer is is clear the offer is purified purity purification oh my gosh and love i mean this is just love happiness success this is like a this is wedding and children you know marriage and children this i was getting that family energy from the start um this is good for all this is good for all of you um as i say whether it's even whether it's your your plant babies your fur babies this is it's good for all of you this is a very pure opportunity interesting that we're unadulterated it's there's no um, murkiness there's no ulterior motives you will feel called forwards on this path and then this opportunity for happiness for love for joy for reaching the next level you know and whatever you're doing um that will appear that will be revealed to you page of self oh my gosh like the success energy is like it's just next level six of wands is public acclaim and for you to get six of wands sorry if i said swords because we got the page of swords it's not the six of swords this is six of wands next to four of wands next to the sun like <laughs> you know this is like the word keeps coming like it's insane it's like so so potent this is major major success on in the public realm so this could be that um buying your dream house in your dream location and it's like you're being seen to succeed in your happiness for you and your loved ones this is the energy here this is an opportunity that takes you through the 11 11 portal to your next era of living this is a magical potent perfect perfect opportunity for you pole number two and it will be revealed to you like the sun you know rises in the day it will be given to you it will be gifted to you with the six of cups it will just feel perfectly it will just feel right it will just feel divinely ordained this is like next level success here because the four of wands is the wedding card in terms of you've reached this um milestone you've reached a point of celebration so this is like graduating with your with your degree with your phd this is that major level of success of achievement but what the 11 11 portal is is it means that it takes you to the other side it's this reason to celebrate there will be massive reason to celebrate here whether it's meeting the love of your life your true soulmate whether it's receiving this amazing promotion or um, your business going next level like um, in in the public eye like just getting all of this publicity you know it's this kind of thing that it then is a doorway into a whole new way of living this is crossing this bridge over here this is moving you to the next level of um, happiness we've just got some real genuine tender happiness going on here this is genuine happiness this isn't about um you know fulfilling a role this is about you ascending 
in your happiness, in what brings you happiness. And again, we got that safety, that stability, that grounded, loving happiness. This is like with this white stuff, oh, this is a pure, unadulterated gift, offer, um, opportunity. Um, and the message is take it, take it poll number two. It will lead you to even more success, even more happiness, to the next level, to the next level. It's perfectly right for you. It's just right for you. This is just a magical, magical reading. Page of Swords is communication. So coming here, it could be an opportunity that um, it could come from what seemed like a difficulty. So perhaps you were looking at something going on in your life and it's like, you know, this is not working for me. Like it's not bringing me joy. It's not bringing me happiness. It's not bringing me that sense of warmth, you know, that warmth of fulfillment, love, joy, belonging, that energy here. And it's that um, reflection here, reflecting on what isn't working in your life that isn't bringing you joy and love and bliss and harmony and it's that that then you get this new idea you start to see the cups behind you you start to see the bridge towards the castle of your dreams this whole energy here could be internal having an enlightened moment of seeing things clearly because our page of swords is kind of on a hill so able to see clearly and able to move beyond um, what isn't working towards what will bring uh, pure success. So this is success that is joyful, loving, harmonious and safe. There's an energy of be feeling protected, feeling a belonging that you and all of your loved ones are safe and happy and joyful. But this could also be, Page of Swords, a message incoming. So this opportunity could come through on a DM, on an email, something you see online, something you sign up to, that changes, shifts your perspective. It helps you to see the way to go, to uh, reach this like amazing level of happiness and success. Oh, I just saw 1313 on the timer and from the angel messages, a book that is hopes fulfilled. Hopes fulfilled, gift from the gods energy. This is beautiful. Airways. Mm. Let's have a look, see. Magic, rebirth, spiritual awakening. Mmm cat there was a cat uh, for pile number one oh, tiwa's direction this is it this is like um a realization a realization or a message a communication of some kind so again this could just be something that you're watching and it's that light bulb moment it's like, oh, I could do it that way. Oh, I could do this. It's sort of, um, and it just, it's just this beautiful offer from the universe that you will feel compelled to take because it's so right for you. It's just so right for you. It's extremely beautiful. And this Tiwas is this like determined direct action this is the spiritual warrior this is the energy of knowing where to go and how to go there and doing it it's this complete flip of the script and that came through that kind of energy came through a little bit in pile number one if you are called to pile number one this is this um it's a massive life shift Perhaps you've been um, struggling with certain things that are, feel disappointing um, in your life. But this message, and I'm getting sword, sword, this message incoming, but this could be a light bulb moment. It just, it shifts everything. It turns your life around. Suddenly you're not looking at what isn't working for you in your life. 
suddenly you're seeing these brand new opportunities and it's just it's all golden from there the energy is all, it's all golden from there pole number two this is beautiful and this is deep and this is this energy of that it's it's quite unreal like that word insane which like oh interesting because the sword um kind of popped out just before doing your reading i noticed that there was a symbol popping out of the symbol bag and it was the sword 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 mm, this clarity this what is being revealed is this new direction the clarity of intent this clarity of direction and so yeah i felt like uncomfortable using the word insane because you know um but it's just the the magical nature of this revelation is is at that level of of like i just can't believe that i um got approached by this company or by this um PR company or you know it's this like it feels magical it feels a bit unreal because it's so so good it's so blessed this message is coming in in some way it's in a way of communication so again it could be something that you're watching on YouTube it could be through even a dream some sort of profound dream that you wake up from that you're just suddenly crystal clear about your next direction it could be in a conversation it could be as um, direct as an email you know a direct communication from another person um, but either way this it's like this is star card energy here I'm getting the star card there this is just a beautiful magnificent magical opportunity that's that hopes fulfilled wishes fulfilled if you've been wishing to meet the love of your life this is it it happens if you've been wishing for a brand new wonderful warm loving home for your love you and your loved ones this is it the opportunity comes and it could be a redirection here it could be that you thought that you needed to um you know this is uh, this is just an analogy just saw 1818 wish comes true oh my gosh <laughs> like hopes fulfilled and wish comes true from the angel messages book um this is so beautiful it's just the energy of maybe you thought that you had to do a certain thing like your business in terms of this public success here or um you know you had to like go about meeting uh, the love of your life in a particular way you know the dating apps or you wanted to buy a house and you thought you needed to do this that and the other thing and you're focusing over here and then there's this flip of the script here this is the revelation and suddenly it's like the door cracks open the angels are singing the light is pouring out and you're like oh my gosh i can go that way and i can achieve my dreams my wishes and my hopes can come true by going this way this is the way forward you know it's that exuberant sun-filled childlike energy where you're hearing the call you're sensing the way forward and you go for it this is action energy page of swords and tiwas this is going for it trust the magic trust your intuitive pull it is guiding you like the energy around you your guardian angels particularly are guiding you towards this doorway towards seeing a whole new brand new direction forwards that leads to success that leads to grounded happiness for you and your loved ones stunning stunning message about what is being revealed to you at this time pile number two thank you so much for being here with me for this reading i love having you here and if this reading has resonated with you please like and subscribe i would love to have you here for another reading 
Hello, pile number three, and welcome to your reading. We were asking, what is being revealed to you at this time? We've got the burning house and the St. John's Walk. When I introduced your card, I, sent, I said St. John's Walk. But when I said that, I was alerted to the fact that this word is not abbreviated here. It is Saint, Saint John's Ward. Radiance, pile number, uh, not pile number two, card number two. There's a calling, um, our wild woman. Look at her antlers. This is green woman, wild woman energy. Racing forwards, we see this beautiful deer with a halo. So this is divine feminine, trusting, loving energy that is divinely guided. Here with the horn, again, divinely guided, but also I'm getting um, the words tooting your own horn, like really um, acknowledging um, your own, like your own self, your own worth here. This is self-worth. This is just loving yourself energy here and racing forwards on your path. Uh, come what may, the, the house is burning down in the background. This is leaving something behind to race towards a new dawn with this, the sun is rising, the sun symbol, racing forwards with self-love and self-respect. This is an energy of knowing who you are, uh, knowing what you're good at, knowing your skills, knowing what you have to offer and racing forwards uh, to do just that. This is just totally humble. It's not um, bragging, but that tooting your own horn energy is like, yeah, I got this. Yeah, I'm good at that. Yeah, I know what I want to do. I'm going to go and do it. It's just totally uh, confidence is what it is. Just pure, pure confidence in yourself, in your capabilities with that wild woman energy. She trusts her body. She knows what she can do. She also uh, pushes herself. This energy of racing forwards, you know, she'll try to run a bit faster or a bit longer. You know, this, it's a very vibrant Queen of Wands kind of energy coming through. And the saint and the halo alerting itself to us is interesting. Maybe it's divinely guided what is being revealed at this time. It could be a new direction with all of these uh, beings racing forwards. We've got an energy of time, the cycles of time. We're getting the, the Wheel of Fortune and the World cards in the tarot coming through. Something coming to completion, something's over, and then it's time to weave a new story, weave a new you as what came through. With the spider, weave a new you. Interesting. The symbols wanted to come out for you. Oh, so many. Too many. Oh, oh my gosh. Here comes the um, sword again. This uh, symbol has been coming out a lot lately. Um, oh, solar plexus chakra. That's definitely Queen of Wands energy. Wow. The sword is direct action. It's clarity. In terms of uh, this reading, this revelation, something's going to become very clear. The sword can also be communication aligned with the air signs. There could be some sort of communication. Let's have a look. We're going to uh, go a bit deeper. Let's flesh out. We've got a lot of the solar plexus, solar sun energy. Weave a new you. Take direct action towards making your dreams come true. Your This is a chance to weave a new you, and this is divinely guided. So this is you uh, embarking upon or carrying on on your soul's path, your soul's purpose. There's something about doing the right thing with um, Tiwas came up in the last reading with the sword, the eagle with the sword, the spiritual warrior. This is doing the right thing even when it's hard. So doing the right thing even if we need to leave something behind that we used to love. You know, it's this energy of doing the right thing 
and trusting in your capabilities, having the confidence to weave a new you, this weaving a new story, weaving a new chapter, and weaving a new you, particularly maybe stepping into this wild woman, queen of wands energy, that charisma, that confidence, that creativity, that lust for life, the desire to race forwards and experience more. The, you know, just that energy that came through about um, our figure here trying to run faster or run further or run longer, you know, that pushing yourself is coming through. You want to push yourself. This is what's being revealed and the direction towards which you want to push yourself. You want to go outside, you want to, you know, you want to go past um, your old boundaries, your old limits. You want to see if you can run faster, run further, run longer. Um, this is beautiful, confident energy. There's a lot of solar power here. Come what may with our burning um, house here. Doing the right thing, even if it's hard. Wow. Temperance, the flame, the flame. There's a bit of water here, but there's a lot of flame in this card for temperance. This is uh, moving forward with that lust for life, that desire to grow and change and weave a new you, to weave a new, uh, a new life, a new um, job, a new, you know, whatever. But it's all like based internally in this inner fire. You want to follow this inner fire, this inner calling, and this desire to live a fertile, vibrant, creative uh, confident life. Um, it is tempered with with harmony, with love and with compassion. This isn't, you know, burning bridges um, wantonly. Uh, there's love and balance and harmony here, but this is very direct action. That's very direct. It's doing the right thing and trusting and knowing that that right thing will work out for everyone involved. Oh, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is feeling trapped, but um, this butterfly is just about to emerge from this cocoon. The star. Absolutely. Wow. You're racing towards some kind of stardom with the Queen of Wands coming through. The Queen of Wands is the star, you know. She is the performer, the um, the singer that everyone goes to see. You know, she's the star. She's got that confidence and that lust for life and that motivation to do with the sword, also the action to do what needs to be done. Your revelation is is that... You are revealing yourself, I would say, this weave a new you. You've been in a cocoon stage. Oh, happening quickly. This is happening very quickly. You've been in a cocoon stage, but you're about to emerge. You're about to shine. This is doing the right, the right thing is you following this passion. This is passionate, fiery energy here. This is you doing something you want to do. Stepping into being someone that you want to be. This is big. This is the revelation and the, the reveal is you. The new you. You're weaving a new you. Whew, justice, yeah, it's about time. is coming through. It's The time is right. The time is ripe. It's about time for this major move to happen, to break free. Like this could be that you've been working on um, creating an album of music um, and now it's time to shoot for the stars and put it out there on Spotify or whatever. You know, this is you emerging from the cocoon stage, something that you've been working on, something that you've been brewing behind the scenes. It's now, it's no longer going to be hidden with this burning house, you know, that has protected this beautiful uh, potion brewing energy. Oh, we've got the tower. This is big time uh, publicity with that Queen of Wands energy coming through, the solar energy. This is putting what you've been creating 
you know, inside, either internally, or you've been working on writing a book, or making music, or whatever, and then you're putting it out into the public eye with the star. You're following your passion, you're trusting another sword, and these are so similar, aren't they? Wow, the sword, the dagger, whew, I'm going to turn that that way. Wow, but I feel like I'm cutting off the little tails. Hmm. We're not cutting the tails, we're just putting them. This uh, temperance is about alchemy of, you know, two cups of water pouring into each other. And then we have the two cats. So interesting, the cats, because the cat was the first time that I've used that symbol in pile number one. And the cat has come through in every, every pile. And this dagger, this sword, keeps, keeps coming up. This revelation of the time is now the time is right and it did get before <clears throat> it's about time it's about time that you put this out there into the world son of cups is the knight of cups so this is a beautiful offer this is you offering what you've been brewing to the world you're offering it with love you've created it with love passion solar energy and now it's time, I'm just getting that very strongly with the Justice card and the Swords. It is time for you to offer this, what you've been creating, you know, in your house, like no more hiding. It's time for you to put this out there, pile number three. And it will be life-changing with the Tower. I mean, all of these cards around here are all positive, but this is big. You know, boom, boom, this is big. It is life-changing with the tower. The tower and the star, this is like you've been working on this book, you know, for, for years, <laughs> like three years. And then you put it out there, it gets published, and it just takes off. Like suddenly <clears throat> you're being asked to... Um, go on to podcasts, you're being interviewed, you're, you're being asked to do whatever they do, you know, a book tour or something like that. This is life-changing, radical life-changing for the better, and it will happen so quickly with the Eight of Wands. This is very fast-moving energy. With everyone's running. Eight of Wands is fast-moving energy. This will happen very quickly because it's divine timing. It's divine timing for you to put this out there, for you to uh, go public with this energy to offer what it is you've been working on. And, and you won't be able to hide it anymore with the houses burning down. Like there's no more hiding um, or protecting or whatever this um, creative venture. I would say it's some kind of creation. Uh, it's been brewing, it's been transforming and growing, and now it is going to emerge. And it's that whole thing of that you can't, <clears throat> I don't know what the saying is, something random, like you can't put the cat back in the box. It's not that, but that's what's coming through. It's like once it's out there, there's no stopping it. That's the energy here. And it's like life-changing with the tower in a highly positive way with the star. Very healing energy here with the Knight of Cups, Son of Cups and the star and St. John's Wort. This very healing energy and temperance. This is beautiful. What you have, what you're about to offer to the world in some way, um, it weaves a new you, like it, the confidence you will feel from doing this is next level. You, it will just feel so right with justice and a wild woman coming in. But what you have to offer is healing. It is loving. It is beautiful. It's just super beautiful. The trust. Trust poem number three and what you have to offer because it's just divine. Like it's really divine. That's what that saint in the halo it's divine energy that you're putting out there into the world. 
just stunning. I mean, this is life changing. High Priestess, another cat, <laughs> our white tiger. This is uh, trust the calling, trust your inner calling. Mm, these ones, oh, these ones want to come out. Father of Swords, King of Swords. Mm, and here's our Queen of Wands. Perfect. <laughs> I love that when that happens. Here she is to confirm. And she's centering the reading as well. Confirming this confidence, this creativity, this charisma. The Queen of Wands is a star. And you've got star and the Queen of Wands. She's the personification of being that charismatic leader, being that charismatic performer, being um, someone that people want to see, want to hear from, want to talk about. Want, you know, this is going viral. This is major success, major life-changing success here. Weaving a new you. Six of Wands is success. <laughs> That's what. And look, the butterfly is emerging. There we go. <laughs> oh, I wanted to uh, flip over. Oh my gosh. Son of Wands, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. The whole powerful um, family is here. This is creativity and transformative with look we've got snake energy with the tower this will it will change your life it this is life changing success this is yeah that's just what it is You've got king and queen of wands. We've got divine counterparts here. So, and with temperance. So, that's quite twin flamey energy for me. And we noticed the two cats and the two swords. Temperance is the alchemizing. In terms of twin flame energy, it's the two people, two souls that come together and their energies merge to create. Uh, you have two separate beings, but then you create this third um, kind of pulsating energy field with the sun around the two of you. So this creative venture could be you and another, like this beautiful uh, divine counterpart energy. It doesn't have to be uh, an intimate partnership. This could be a business partnership. This could highly likely be a creative partnership, but that's on that level where you're um, symbiotically combined. You create together. You create as one. And what you have to create is life-changing and for the better. You know, we've got this beautiful, loving, healing energy, healing, healing, healing energy. And then we've got all the creators, the son of wands, the mother of wands, and the father of wands. Well, this could be a family business with the three of the wands court cards coming out. This could be you and your family or you and your friends. And again, with this energy where together you just create this powerful potion. You create this powerful alchemy where just... It just goes right and it and it goes strong with the tower and the eight of wands. This is major success. You are revealing yourself. You're revealing this creative venture. You know, your website is going online. You're starting your um, social media page. You're putting your music out there, your book out there. Something highly creative, I would say, especially with spider, the spider is the creator, is going public. And from there, it's going viral. It's that kind of energy. It's life changing. It's about time. It's the right time. Pile number three for you and whether you're working with others, which you may well be, for you to reveal this creation to the world. It's 
success is on the cards with six of wands. Six of wands is the card of success. The star, you know, this is next level success, <laughs> you know. Next level success. You know the time is now with the High Priestess and the Father of Swords, the King of Swords energy. You know, you you feel it. You feel it in your bones, I would say, with this uh, wild woman energy that came through. You feel it in your bones that the time is now. The time is ripe. The time is right for you to publicize, to put out into the world this thing that you've been creating. Powerful, powerful, beautiful um, energy of what is being revealed and what is being revealed, power number three, is you, is this creation. That is what is being revealed at this time. It's the right time. It's high time. You know, it's all the times. It's divine timing now for you to put this out there, pile number three. Thank you very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you all here. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.